Hey everybody, I'm really sorry that it has been so long since I've updated you. I think that the last video I did was like in early May. And that's like the longest I've ever gone without updating my channel. I did have my follow-up in Gainesville with the tissue surgery. And they basically did the same thing on the bottom that they did on the top. They just removed the excess tissue and grafted over an implant. And if you want to know more about that process, then just look at my last video. Um, so my last couple videos so anyways since all of that happened i've been getting like a lot of messages and um comments from people asking me you know do i regret getting implants um if i had to do it all over again would i have done it the same way or would i have stuck to dentures and i can understand i mean that's a legitimate question because like when i'm on here it's usually because i'm updating and if i'm updating usually telling you about an issue that I have encountered. And so it can probably be perceived that, you know, it's just one thing after another with her. Like, implants just aren't worth it, you know? Um, I understand that, but really, it's it's not bad at all, honestly, because that to me, that would be like asking me, you know, would I have rather kept my, um, my natural teeth or get dentures? Because, like, you're going to have maintenance with whatever you have, like, when you lose your teeth, it's not the end of dental woes. You're still going to come across challenges. Like with dentures, you have to keep up with your relines and make sure that they're fitting properly. Um, sometimes teeth break off. Sometimes the denture cracks, you know. Then you have the whole bone loss issue. And over time, you, you might not, your dentures might not fit as well anymore. You might need to undergo bone grafting or something. I mean, there's all kinds of things that arise and you just got to kind of deal with them you know like you can't expect that when you lose your teeth you're just never going to go to the dentist again unless you need like you know cleanings for implants or something I mean there's maintenance involved and maintenance obviously costs money and you know you just got to anticipate that that's going to happen and I knew that um coming into this I didn't think it was going to be like smooth sailing or whatever so just understand, and I'm only saying this, you know, for your benefit. Don't come into this thinking, you know, whether you're getting dentures or implants, no matter what you're getting, please don't think that you're never going to have to go to the dentist again and then, you know, find yourself in a panic when you realize, hey, there's going to be more costs involved and more maintenance involved because that's just life. That's just the way it is. So I'm really happy with my setup. If I had to do it all over again, I would have done it exactly the same way that I did. You know, Dr. Golpa and his staff, they did a fantastic job with these. Now I'm getting really good um, follow-up care with Dr. Martin and Gainesville. And, you know, everything's great. I mean, compared to where I was, like, seriously, this is like a no-brainer for me. So don't, please don't think that, you know, when I post these videos about, you know, issues that pop up that I'm like, you know, Oh my God, like, why is this happening to me? Like, I am totally cool. Like, I'm good. There's, like, way more things in life going on to stress over than this. Like, this is a breeze. Um, so, that's taken care of. And now, everything's fine until the next, you know, issue pops up, which will obviously be handled really well with my new dentist in uh, Gainesville. So, anyways, that's good. Now, I want to share some information with you that I know everybody is interested in hearing because obviously I have really white teeth. I went with the bleach shade. It was PW4, which is like the next step. Um, it's like a step below the highest you can go, which I believe is PW7. And PW stands for portrait white. I mean, I think that's the kind of teeth that I got. I don't know. Anyways, so... With my temporary dentures, those were the brightest shades you can get in the natural colors. You know, you didn't get bleach options with that package that I got. And so I got, I think it was A1 is what I had for those. And um, it just wasn't that white for me because, like, you know, I, I've said it so many times. Like, I never have had a pretty smile. Like, throughout childhood, they were crooked. There was a big gap, and then they started getting discolored, and then cavities started wreaking havoc in my mouth. And, like, I never had, like, a really pretty smile. And so I wanted to, like, go all out. Like, I wanted the showstopper. Like, you know, she's got an amazing smile. And so that's what I went for. And I wanted to get really bright you know, teeth. And so 
I'm thinking in my mind, you know, people are going to just, you know, admire from afar, you know, and so um, people actually do stop me. in public to talk about my teeth it's just the way it is it happens I you know when I first started out with them I think I got like a few comments here and there but, like now like there's like I know there's an like, algorithm that I could crack to where if I figured out like where I went and how many places I went in a day and like for how many hours I'm out I can guarantee that somebody's gonna say something like somebody's gonna say something um and that, you know, it's flattering. It's really flattering because I've never had anybody say, you know, you got a pretty smile before in my life. But, you know, for one, I kind of got, like, social anxiety where I don't want to, you know, mingle and small talk and all that stuff. It makes me feel weird. I end up saying stupid stuff. And, you know, I just like to get into where I'm going and get out, you know, minimal contact with people type of situation. And that's not really, you know, possible all of the time like sometimes people are going to say something and I, to, to me that just is so weird because like I don't think I would stop somebody in public and tell them you know wow you have a really nice smile and like I'm not being mean about it like I said like I'm really flattered I it's very flattering you know especially when it's just somebody saying you've got a really gorgeous smile and that's it be done with it but there are people who want to know exactly what you did to get your teeth that white and that's where the dilemma comes in and for instance, like um, a couple days ago, I was in Ulta and the woman who was doing my makeup, like matching up my foundation, she was like, you've got really white teeth. Like, what do you do? And, you know, understandable. We got a moment. I'm going to tell you what I do. I got implants. They're not mine. And she was just like floored. Like, I might as well have told her aliens landed in the parking lot. Like, she just couldn't believe it. I mean, because I could tell that she was kind of looking at my teeth to begin with. I'm thinking, oh, it's going to, you know be that time where somebody asked me and so you know and she just was shocked which you know it feels so good to me because you know at least they're not thinking those are some fake looking teeth instead people are usually thinking wow how does she get them that white you know and so she asked me and I told her they're not mine and she wanted to know like at that point she was really curious so people are probably gonna get curious if you ask them or if you tell them that they're not yours and they're going to want to know, like, the whole backstory and everything. So I told her, you know, briefly what happened and everything. And then she wanted to investigate, you know. Like, she wanted, I opened my mouth. I'm like, you know, showing her the whole setup. And I explained what I have and everything like that. And she was just really impressed that, you know, my teeth were not real. But they looked so pretty and so white. And she thought I was pretty. And I just felt great. And, you know, I really appreciate that. Just boost my confidence up a little bit. Um, but that does happen, you know, just yesterday I was in Walgreens and I rounded the corner from getting some milk and a guy like stopped and was like, you got some cute boots. And I was like, thank you, sir. And I smiled, my genuine smile. And he was like, wow, you got some really white, bright teeth, very beautiful smile. And I was like, thank you. You know, and just hoping that nobody stopped in Walgreens to ask me like they did in Target because I was in Target one day. And the lady checking me out, not checking me out, literally, maybe, I don't know, you never know. But um, <laughs> she was checking out my stuff, and she was like, how do you get your teeth so white? Do you whiten them? Like, I've tried everything, and, you know, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, uh, no, I don't whiten them, because, like, there's a line, and I just don't want to get into it. It's not like I don't want to share my story with people. I'm always eager to share my story. Target's not the time or the place, you know, especially when there's people behind me. And, you know, I can't just briefly say, oh, well, they're implants, because then everybody's going to be, you know, looking like, what is she talking about? She lost her teeth. She's a drug addict. And I just don't want to get into that. And so I'm saying all of this to let you know, yes, at the gas station, at the store, like when I'm off places, people, you know, from time to time do stop and tell me you know I have a pretty smile and sometimes I'll leave it alone but then sometimes they want to know what do you do to get your teeth that white and so I'm just saying if you're one of the people that wants to go kind of under the radar then you might not want to get teeth this white or if you still want to get teeth this white but you still don't want to deal with all of the questions and everything like it just occurred to me you know some things that I could probably say in response like if someone asked me you know um how do you get your teeth so white? Just say, you know, I take really good care of them. 
you better be taking good care of them, right? You know, like, <laughs> this is like a car in my mouth. I'm taking really good care of it. So, and it's not lying. And then just, like, give that body language where we're moving on. We're here, but we want to get past that situation and go over here and talk about something else. Like, because we just don't want to get into it. Just do that, you know. Just say, let's take really good care of them. Smile. And, you know, moving on, you know, is that on sale? I thought that that was a different price. You know, whatever. And just kind of redirect the conversation elsewhere. Um... Or you could, I mean, if you want to lie, like, I can't. Like, I just don't have it in me to lie or anything. But if you want to, you could just say, yeah, I go to the dentist and I get them whitened. Just tell them you use that laser stuff or, I don't know, look it up, whatever. Um, you don't have to tell everybody your life story just because they think that, you know, you got a, like, a nice white smile or whatever. But just, I want you to be prepared that people are not just going to admire from afar like you probably thought they would. I didn't think that people would be stopping me and telling me that my smile is pretty. And I, I'm grateful. You know, I'm straight up grateful because it's better that than for people to be like, you know, what in the hell did you do to your teeth, you know? So I'm, I'm grateful that, you know, people think I have a pretty smile because I've never had one in my life. So, But I just wanted you to know that people are probably going to gawk over it, you know? And so you can either own it. And just be like, thanks a bunch. Or you could just um, not get this white teeth and maybe go a few steps below. So I hope that helps some of you when you're trying to decide what shade to get. If you don't want people to ask you a bunch of questions and whatnot, just kind of avoid this color. Or if you don't mind, like, you know, redirecting the conversation elsewhere, do that. I don't know. I just wanted to share it with you that, yes, people do talk about it. So, um... That's that, and you guys take care.